There's been a lot of talk about 4G recently with the launch of new mobile phone networks and new mobile handsets, but what actually is 4G? 4G is the latest mobile phone network technology, and like 3G it can be used for downloading data and accessing the internet, but the difference is it's a lot faster than 3G. Well, 4G is new to the UK, it's not a really new technology, it's been available for a few years in other countries such as the States and as far afield as Uzbekistan. But due to regulation issues in the UK, it's been delayed until now. Theoretically, 4G can download data up to 20 megabits per second, making it as fast as some home broadband connections. In reality, you're probably not likely to see these top rates though, but EE, the first network to launch in the UK, claims that it's going to be up to five times faster than current 3G networks. In practice, this means it should be fast enough to stream video without the annoying kind of buffering, and apparently it's able to download HD movies in only a matter of minutes. At the moment, the only network to launch to 4G service is EE, which is the owner of the Orange and T-Mobile network services. The other networks will be launching 4G services, but not until the start of 2013. At first, 4G coverage is likely to be patchy as the networks are upgraded, starting mainly in the big cities, but EE, the first network, has claimed that it's going to expand its coverage to 70% of the population by the end of 2013, and 98% of the population by 2014. Unfortunately, we don't know how much 4G services will cost, as EE hasn't released its pricing information yet, but we expect it to be quite a bit more than 3G networks, as early adopters are often hit with extra prices. Unfortunately, you also need a new phone to connect to the new network, but all the biggest brands have said that they are releasing 4G-enabled handsets. If you're currently on a long 3G contract, you might have the option to upgrade to 4G. EE has said particularly Orange and T-Mobile customers should be able to easily upgrade, although you're likely to have to lengthen the period of your contract and probably pay quite a bit more each month. As well as the extra cost of 4G, there's also been the suggestion that 4G might have a bad effect on the battery life of phones, but once they go on sale, we'll be taking them into our test labs to see if, what kind of effect it has. For more information about EE and 4G as a service, visit witch.co.uk.